Three years ago, a prisoner at Reading Young Offenders Institution, John Watts, was offered the chance to change his life when he was invited to take part in the DV. When I was at school, I'd heard about the DV, but my perception was that it wasn't for people like me, it was for a higher class of people. And all I knew about the Duke of Edinburgh before I was in prison was that he was married to the Queen and he was famous for saying rude things to a lot of foreign people. But in spite of John's early impression of the Duke and his award, he has, while in prison, completed the bronze, silver and gold awards. What John has done whilst in custody is truly remarkable. He is an inspiration, not just to his peers, fellow young offenders, but to staff. You know, for somebody to actually do the full, the full set, the bronze, the silver and the gold whilst in custody, it hasn't been done before. Back in April, a few weeks before his release from prison, John received his gold award at a presentation ceremony at St. James's Palace in London. While there, he met the Duke, who asked him about his community service. What do you do for your service? My service, I work alongside the Samaritans. Samaritans? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> you didn't try community suicide? I didn't know. <laughs> it turns out the Duke of Edinburgh is a real inspiration. It's because of him that I am able to change my life. People say to me that your life in prison is lost. However, if I can come out of prison with a DV gold award, I can show them that and say it's not, it's not lost. <laughs>